In order to do lights, we are going to need to add in, in our core, an iLight interface. And this thing is pretty simple. It's got a light source position, and then three things here that are not wired up. And note that this is the same thing that is defined in our normal diffuse shader. So if we go into this effect, you'll see that these are defined here. And so we're just going to wire up to the light position and leave the other ones alone. If you want to wire those up on your own, feel free. It'll be pretty straightforward after this tutorial. The next thing that we're going to need is in our game components, we will need to add a flickering fire and also a light manager. So for our flickering fire, we have, we've declared it as a noun, it's an eye light, it's a two body system, and it's eye updatable. Pretty straightforward, just some really simple stuff here to move it around, or move around the, the light source inside of a sphere. If it gets outside of that sphere, it just resets. And in our light manager, it's basically just a list of light sources, and then for each light source, we update it. So now that we have a light, we need to attach it to something. And in our game, that is going to be the fire pit. So here's our pit information as we declare it. Now we need to add in a lighting component. So to do that, we're going to add a light manager, light source of a flickering fire, and we're going to attach that to the pit particles to use as a noun reference. Now that the lighting manager is keeping track of where the lights are coming from, we need to go in and modify how we're drawing the models to leverage that. So before we had this simple draw method. Now what we're going to do is we are going to break it up into three methods. And in these three methods, we're going to have one that handles a light, and one that assumes that there is not a light, and then a base drawing method. So what happens here is you can either call the draw with a light, or you can call the draw without a light, and this will just use a default light color, and both of those will then pass in to the core. If you wanted to extend your light to change the position color and ambient color, here would be where you want to do that. So this is our light, light source position. So we run that quick, and everything's working. However, you can see that there are some shadows here on these boxes for us to use as reference. But we've definitely got some kind of a draw order problem here. So why don't we go in and fix the drawing order issue and come back to the lights then. So the draw order manager that we had was kind of designed to work in the open or outside of rooms. So to fix that, we are going to create a artificial draw order suggestion because we know that the walls should always be drawn before uh, pretty much anything else. So we'll add a draw order item here and we'll take that out of our draw order manager so here's our old draw order item, here's our new one, and in here we are going to just overwrite this whole class because there's a bunch of changes, and what we're going to do then is add in a drawing order suggestion on each of these things. So we need to change the model here, and we're going to go drill down to simple model base, and in here we are going to add a nullable int as a suggested draw order. And then we're just going to use that as a hint to our draw order manager. And then we'll just use the drop through 
creation mechanism there. So just add our draw order suggestion in here and then call the base so we can get that. Otherwise it'll just stay null. And we go back to our draw order manager. Let's see if we still have anything else that needs to be fixed. Nope. Try to build it. Our build succeeded. Now we need to go back in to our content here and then we're going to add back in all of the suggestions. And there's going to be a couple here that are going to be tricky and we'll address those in a special section. So some of this is going to be trial and error. Now let's see what this looks like. There we go. Now you can see that the fire is flickering. We got some shadows moving around. We got the table being drawn in front. All the table legs are being drawn where they should be. The table's inside the room. Both the boxes are inside the room. We do have an issue here where our where the background color is not being sucked up as content. To fix the background problem, we were wiring up the background color. We missed to wire it into the graphics device dot clear. That will take care of that. Now why don't we move on to getting our scene to save and load.